Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zhang here, and today we are back with another episode of my Pokemon Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, we completed our very, very first trial in the Alolan region, got our first Z-Crystal, and also evolved our little, little cute Rowlet into a cooler Deertrix, although a little bit less cuter. So that was a really, really exciting episode for me, and I'm having a lot of fun with this Let's Play. I know I'm uploading, you know, obviously a little bit slower than other YouTubers who have probably already finished their trials or, you know, finished their uploads, but, uh, you know, like I mentioned in the last one in the last couple of episodes, I'm just waiting for that VGC 17 rule set to fully be released by the Pokemon Company, um, and once that is out, you know, all the competitive content will begin so just gotta wait a little bit longer but so excited and i hope you guys have been enjoying this let's play because i have uh, i was actually really busy like for the last couple of days even after moon and sun came out so i wasn't able to just delve into the game and like you know kind of grind and play through it so now i finally get some chance to relax and sit down and play through the game so it's been really exciting but uh yeah i really want to explore um the region that just opened up in the last episode so i'm gonna see if i can catch anything cool here it's gonna be route three and as always if you guys enjoyed this let's play please share your support by leaving a like in the video I would really appreciate it and happy late thanksgiving to everyone uh, i happened to pass under a moving shadow and got attacked by a wild bird pokemon what adorable little pests they are attack me is it gonna be a wingle is that a zubat how about a gen 7 pokemon i want to see more gen 7 pokemon oh that's so boring to spiro okay should i z move it with my dartrix Dartrix looks so happy. Ugh. Goals. Yeah, I'm gonna Z move. Breakneck blitz it. Gosh, I just can't wait to explore Z moves fully. Oh yeah, I have to like fully. I told myself I was gonna do the dance because I need to learn it for uh, once real VGC tournaments come around. All right, full force Z move. Breakneck blitz. <laughs> I feel like him running is gonna look even funnier. Or he's flying, I guess. What the heck? <laughs> His feet aren't even on the ground. We caught a spear on the last episode, I believe, so no need. Everything in the party slowly leveling up as well. Okay. Uh, pretty wing. Are those for Eevee? Like the old games? Yeah, I'm gonna run into the wild Pokemon. Just kind of want to see if there's anything new that I can catch. It's gonna be a Spearow again, though. I feel like it's so cheap you could just Z-move everything. Which is what I, exactly what I'm going to do right now. Yeah, I just break Nick Blitz. <laughs> that makes in-game a lot easier, because before I was struggling to like... Everything would be like a 2 or 3 hit knockout. Um, and I was trying to level up so that Razor Leaf wouldn't be, but now everything's just pretty chill. God, that animation's so funny. Can't wait to see Z moves in real VGC events. Yeah, that's an easy knockout. It's level 12 too, so everything's gaining more EXP now, which is nice. Okay. Oh, so you get wings. Or oh, a sharp beak. I don't have much use for that right now, but that's cool. Okay. Battle? Nice. Do you have any preferences about the type of Pokemon? The type of moves in addition to the type of Pokemon? Interesting question. What do we got here? You're challenged by Rising Star Tatiana. Patilli? Uh, have not seen that. Wait, is that. That's the one that evolves into Lil again, right? If I'm right. <laughs> I hope I'm right. Just haven't seen that in forever. Or maybe it's a new Pokemon. Hashtag noob. Pretty sure that's the one that evolves into the Logan, though. It also looks a lot like it. So I didn't bother using the Z moves. Save some time by pecking twice. Because the animation for that's kind of long. Uh, that was pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, I really want to battle everyone. You can tell, like like I said, I like to grind very uh, quickly early game, so it's kind of a drag at first, but uh, I like battling everyone I can run into. One, to see all the new Pokemon, but two, just to get as much EXP as possible and everything I can. Because other than that, like, your options are obviously the mandatory battles, any side battles, and then you can grind through wild Pokemon as much as possible, but wild Pokemon typically don't give as much EXP. Oh, I love Dartrix. Oh, razor leaf. 
This should be a knockout. Super effective stab and four levels higher. Yeah, nice. Let's see how much EXP I get for that. Everything leveling up. Cool. The EXP share kind of just makes things relatively easy. Um, I do see some patch of, or a patch of grass there, so I want to see if I can catch anything new here. Uh, is there anything around here? No, this is just where we were earlier. Okay, so two trainers thus far. I'm going to walk through the grass a little bit, and then we'll continue on. Uh, another cue to fly. Every time I see cue to fly, I just think PewDiePie, because they rhyme. Cue to fly the poor PewDiePie. Um, oh, peck. Stun spore not affecting me. Hashtag improved mechanics. Crit there on the uh, peck there as well. Nice. Everything leveling up a little bit more. I haven't really been using it much, but like might as well just keep the EXP share on anyway. Let's see what else we can run into. Yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of miss the old EXP share though, because it made things a little bit more interesting where you had to really like ration things out. But we see a manky. I think that's the first time we've run into that, so I'm going to try to catch this. Uh, and since I am pretty strong at this point, I'm just going to go for a tackle, which should bring it down under 50%. Or just over. Focus punch? Oh, or, yeah. Uh, this might knock it out if I get a high damage roll. No, nice. Karate chop. Yeah, I don't really feel the need, but I just want to complete the Pokedex, get some EXP as well. If I'm using a fighting Pokemon in this game... Um, I might actually use Hariyama. Oh, I don't know why I Great Ball that, but whatever. One, two, three. Told you, it's always like the time, because it's not like boom, boom, boom. It's like boom, boom, boom. I think at least that's what it feels like. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> do, 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 do. Mankey's data will be added to the Pokedex. Little Rotom's gonna come out and talk to me again. Why don't you check out what kind of Pokemon you just caught next? Nope, no nickname. And I don't really care about having it in my party. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can explore because we did run into a new Pokemon. Feels like every new patch of grass or something new. And we saw a Growlithe. Ooh, a Deli Bird. I don't, do we have one of those yet? I don't think so. Well, we'll see if I can base off the typing. I'm pretty sure this is the first one we've run into though. Yeah, so I'll peck. I don't think peck will knock it out. Should be a little bit bulkier than most things. Yep, nice. Heh, <laughs> present. Yeah, yeah. Ooh! Call for a homie. <laughs> it's helped it appear. One of my favorite memes I've seen on Twitter is like, top 10 anime betrayals. And it's like, a Pokemon, uh, Sid Salad. One of the, one of the newer Pokemon. The poison fire lizard calling for a help and no one coming. Yeah, okay, there we go. I think. Oh, wow, it actually failed on the third one. I have not seen that in a while. But I'll just great ball it again. He's calling for help again. There's some help. <laughs> Please just let me catch this one and then I'll Z move the other. This one's level 12, actually. I want the level 12 one, so I'm actually going to knock this one out. All right, man, your friend's cooler. Whew. Uh, knockout, nice. Hey, man, you didn't want to go in the Pokeball. You're lost. Dark Trick screwed, level 18. Those are some really even stats, though. Wow. Drowsy leveling up. Headbutt. Um, how much does that do? 70, that's actually really good. That's a pretty good moveset at this point, actually. Like, Hypnosis, Confusion, Headbutt. I mean, Drowsy's going to want to be specially based, but whatever. Oh, I targeted the other slot, but it shit out the redirect. Yeah, this one's a lot... Oh, okay, that was a crit. I was going to say, this one seems really strong relative to the last one we ran into. Um, I'll pack again. No, like, unless I crit, that's not going to KO, and then a Great Ball should be able to seal things up. Nice. Alright, hope we get this one. That's cool though. I love the help calling for help feature. Makes getting EXP and farming easier too. One, two. What the heck, man? This better not knock me out. Bruh. 
Uh, I'm not using next Pokemon. I'll just revive. I mean, I could Hypnosis here. Maybe I should. Because it's not being fun to catch. Alright, the 60% accurate Hypnosis outside of gravity. Can we land it? Nice! Gosh, how many times have we heard that in VGC 16 towards the late season? Uh, now we can just catch it. This better work, because he is almost as low as possible, and he's asleep. One. Two. Dude! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Using all my great balls on this dang deli bird, but I really want it. Like, I don't, I, it, at this point, I've already spent time trying to catch it. I already blew great balls. I'm not going away without a deli bird. Two, three, there we go, oh my gosh, sometimes they're such a grind, man, but nice, get some nice EXP, although poor Dartrix doesn't get that EXP, but Makuhita, 15 already, not bad, and we get its data into the Pokedex, <laughs> it's so cute, she's like waving high, it's like, or, yeah, there we go, um, to give it the most boring nickname of Santo. Add to my party. Do I want to add it to my party? No, I like the diversity of my party right now, actually. Yeah, I'll send it to a box. Okay, so I'm going to revive Dartrix real quick. Do one last sweep through of the grass here. Because so far we've run into all new stuff. And then, yeah. Um, what's I using? Revive. Gosh, this game's so fun, though. <laughs> Uh, oops, meant to potion things. It's just use it once. Yeah. Okay, so one last grass run through, and then we're moving on. I really do want to catch a Growlithe, though, because I Arcanine would be awesome. That's another Deli Bird. Alright, I'll just knock this one out, and I'll use my Z move for that. Yeah. Fight. Oops. Still love that that's a thing. And Brick Nick Blitz. Does he like pound his chest? Can't tell. Alright, Dartrix. Feel all you got. This is what, base 100, I believe? Which at this point in the game is really strong, especially when you're above level. So I hope this knocks it out. Yeah, clean. Oh, crit too. Just icing on top. Nice. Yeah, everything's leveling up pretty quickly, too. Ooh, Pursuit. Definitely getting... Oh, no. Not Rock Smash. Oh, I have Rock Smash on this? Wait, that means I can go back in and... Can I Can I smash the rocks? I would assume so. Because it's not like you need the TM or anything. Well, um, That's actually really interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. I'm pretty content with... It. Oh, there was a Pokeball there. I missed that. Oops. <laughs> We're going to run into something. I might run away from this. Because I don't want this to just be all wild battles for this episode. But it's a Spiral. And I'll just knock it out. Just a couple of extra seconds. Hope you guys don't mind. Like I said, beginning of the game a little bit slower because I like to grind things out. Um, I wonder if a pet can just knock it out at this point because I'm nine levels higher. Oh, just so close. No worries, though. Uh, just use another one. Yeah, you really don't have to worry about PP, especially at this point in the game when you have, like, Pokestander that are successful everywhere. Summonable XP, yep. Uh, what do we have here? Heal Ball, okay. Mainly for aesthetics. Oh my gosh, I'm a noob. Uh, the XP like you're given right now is also pretty small, but maybe it's... No, it's another Spiral. I'll just knock it out real quick. The grind is real, though. The grind is real, guys. Um, so two packs knock it out here. Oh, so close, though. So close. So close. Despite me being evolved and being a couple of levels higher, still just a little bit off. I swear a life orb would be nice. But <laughs> you don't get that stuff this early on. Alright. Alright, so after grinding through this region for a little bit, we are finally, finally, finally moving on. There is a flag here. What is this? Wait, what is this? Le male male meadow. Oh, where the Ori Coral dance. 
I'm confused. There's a red. Oh, do we go up? Ah. Well, I want to explore that other region as well. Oh, wait, I guess this is... Oh, hey, it's Lily. We're looking for her. I get such Paper Mario Thousand Year Door music vibes from this. I don't know why. Nebby! Oh, classic Nebby. Nebby ran off into the meadow here. Ah, Nebby, you are such a goon. And Lily's can't do anything. Rad forgot into so much trouble. What if a wild Pokemon attacks? It doesn't have any moves. Okay, I'll find Lev. I'll get the Nebby, don't you worry. After grinding through some grass a little bit. <laughs> see what we've got. Oh, is it is it just all cute to fly? Because it's like or coral or whatever it's called, like metal. Or it's where they come. Eh, some farm EXP. So it's actually faster. I think the idea of the Oricoro is really interesting though, because there are four of them, and it's like the typing is based off the islands. Yeah, leveling up. Fury swipes, yes, that is a good move. Uh, definitely get rid of Growl for that. As you can tell, I just like having as many offensive attacks as possible, typically. Unless it's like a plus attack or plus speed move. Basically, good VGC moves, stat increasing moves, like maybe, I'll consider it. Uh, if there's something else, it's another Q to fly, then I'll move on. Oh, it's an Ori Coral though. Cool. Yeah, I really want to catch this. Okay. Um, so what typing is this? I know it's. I I don't want to knock it out, so I'm gonna go for the helping hand. Huh. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for the not very effective attacks right now. Oh, it's calling for help too. That's <laughs> helping didn't appear. I wonder what the success rate of that is. Um, I don't think a tackle here should knock it out either. So it's got Peck. Yeah, it takes out with these. Another one actually will bring it just down. But yeah, I just one I want to. I think I think there's actually a lot of potential for this Pokemon in VGC this year, because um, its attack basically copies like dance moves from a partner, so you could like get two boosts in one turn, or like one boost for two Pokemon on the same turn, especially like Quiver Dance, which is obviously a really threatening move. Uh, you saw the Helping Hand there, which obviously doesn't do anything in singles, but that's a big big deal in VGC as well. Um, like I think Helping Hand. Oh gosh breaks out on the third one. Uh, Helping Hand's a really good move. I mean, we've seen it do well, but it's still, like, underutilized, I would think. Um, and, yeah, I mean, just to get a, you know, huge boost like that is really, really big. Uh, if you can snowball it. Two. Three. Okay, nice. Let's get that Pokedex entry. Yeah, I have no idea. Was that is that the electric flying one? I'm just assuming because it's yellow. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out now. Oh, I want to check. Yep, it is electrifying. Okay. I haven't run into too many on Pokemon Showdown yet, but that's cool. Really exciting that we caught one of those. Okay, I might just repel now because I don't. I just want to progress a little bit with the story. It's Caterpie. It's free XP. Peck should just one-hit KO it, especially with Stab. I'm gonna just do that real quick. The is level 12. Oh wait, that's just one hit sit though. Yeah, easily. Oh, almost level 19. So I wouldn't mind running into another wild Pokemon, but we'll probably get one on our way back. And a Pokeball. Netball, cool. I'm sure there's a wild trainer down there. I saw a guy there too, so probably do we battle him? Nope. Girlfriend always disappears. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Another cute fly. I'm gonna battle this because I don't know I'm level up to 19 now. <coughs> Alright, back. So I wonder in VGC whether you'll still see the type effectiveness and whether you have to have run into that Pokemon before or not. Because that's how it is currently. Like you see it once and then it registers foresight. Um no thanks. I kind of like my stats right uh, my attacks right now. I'm mainly looking for like a super strong grass or flying type attack. Oh my gosh. Okay. Metapod. I'll actually catch that, I guess. For Pokedex completion's sake. 
so it's not too bad. Hopefully Razor Leaf doesn't knock it out here. Shouldn't because it's not very effective. Yeah, okay. Even that animation is pretty cool. Oh gosh. Two Metapod? Oh, it gets it. Oh no, Caterpie. I have free XP, I guess. Um... Oh, I guess I should have just pecked, but I wanted the additional damage on Metapod there, because I'm going to catch it anyway. String Shop, yeah. Oh, so many Gen 1 Pokemon thus far. Harden, yeah, yeah. You do you, Metapod. Uh, peck on Caterpie. <laughs> Dark Trick just never has his eyes open, just like me. <laughs> That's a knockout, nice. Cling, cling, cling. Oh, so little EXP at this point, though. So, not even any point. Uh, he's at plus three attack, though. Oh my god, please. Don't come, don't come, don't come, don't come. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna try to catch the Metapod. I don't know. Like, I'm guessing Caterpie can't call for help, so if you get rid of the Metapod, like... Oh, wait, what? I need... Oops. Okay, well, more EXP. And you learn to fish. I learned officially, you know, never catch... Uh, even in this, like, even if a partner Pokemon is called. I'll knock this one. Nice. I love the super effect of this sound. It just, like, gives me such satisfaction. Ah, uh, guys, at plus four now. Please don't go for help again. Okay. That yeah, scrape ball better work. So much effort into just catching a dang Metapod. One, two... Three. Nice. That Deli bird was so difficult still. Oh my gosh, can't get over that. But at least we finally caught it. Oh, Crab Roller leveling up too. Yeah, I don't particularly care in getting a Butterfree, but it's nice to have the evolution line. Uh, yeah, I'm good. And no, I definitely don't want this in my party. Although Butterfree could be usable this year. Oh, Nebby, 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 Nebby. Pew! There we go. Get in your bag, you fool. Pew! Thanks. And I should thank the Trickster. At least let me do this. Is she gonna heal me? Yeah, classic. Why does everyone have healing abilities except for me? <laughs> you know, I read something interesting in the book once. Yep, the Oricoro. Oricorio, Oricorio, not Oricoro, Oricorio. Changes appearance by feeding on the nectar. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing a form change. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyway. Such an educated young lady you are, Lily. Thank you. I know there aren't many Pokemon to see you around here, but it's an excuse. I still don't know why this Nebby is just with her. But that was cool. I enjoyed that. Hey, and Lily's with you too. What are you up to, How? Just finished up my trial. Hey, I want to see if I... Oh, are we back? Oh, wow, okay. Just getting into it. Mm -hmm. I love that he's just always stretching. Like, I remember doing that for track and swimming back in high school, in middle school. Pikachu. Since when did you have a Pikachu? The only Pokemon that really actually calls his name. Okay. Well, eh, no mercy. Actually, I should save that for. Nah, I'll use now. <laughs> Although work up could be nice. I'm actually really glad like uh Dartrix learns work up. I was just stretching here, I wasn't even meaning to do the Z moves, but my like <laughs> Dartrix is such a homie though. He looks like a bro. I wanna be friends with Dartrix. Animation never gets old. He's literally just like clawing his way through. Clean knockout. Nice, and some actual EXP. Whirlwind. Um, no, because I can run anyway. I don't see any use. No, I'm, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't bother, because I knew I could just Razor Leaf Pop Wheel. Yeah, and the fact he's still in Pop Wheel form too. Like, he hasn't evolved. So, uh, I think this might knock him out just outright in one hit. Yeah. Same type of attack bonus. I'm an evolution up on him, and five levels up. Which is why I like to grind a little bit earlier on, because then it results in easy battles like that. Although I'm sure it gets harder. 
So you beat me, you and blah, blah, blah. so you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh? Looks like we're both getting pretty strong. But he wonders if you'll ever beat Gramps. Hey there, I knew I can count on you. Thanks for tracking down Lily. What's this then? How oh, you finish your trial, but use some silent moves. Heh <laughs> right. Hollow's probably rubbing his hands together in glee right now. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials. You've got to battle that island's kahuna. Oh, interesting. Grand trial. Oh. So there's still much to do. Wow. This game has so much. Catch this tailwind and blast through Route 3. I wonder if we could get that trial win in, in this game. Um, although, I do want to explore a little bit more as well. Seeing kids joining with will give you something. Suit bow. Cool. Oh, and there are rocks here, so I want to try to smash those and see if... Because um, I do have the crab brawler with rock smash. No, another Q to fly. Just knock that out. Almost at 22, which is awesome. So we are slowly, you know, getting to the point where we're significantly... Not significantly, I guess, but, like, substantially overleveled against our wild Pokemon. But, fit, yeah, we're not getting anything right now, so I'm not going to bother here. You got to know when to cut. Uh, okay. Oh, even though I have... Or do I have to... Because he has Rock Smash, right? But I guess he can't use it yet? Ah, uh, okay. That's what I was wondering. Because there was... Back in the trial, too. Could be wrong, but... Hmm. Okay, uh... Oh, excuse me. Oh, wait, I didn't talk to that person. I need to talk to all NPCs now in case a Gloza ever asks me. Wait, what? I'm a trainer who uses the red card out on a shaking by your strength. Wait, have I not defeated everyone on Route 3? I guess not, evidently. <laughs> the guy was just like, I'll draw out the power of my partner, growl it by giving it an item to hold. Oh, so now we've got items, okay. They're introducing that now. Makes sense. I was gonna ask, what is he gonna happen? It's obviously gonna be a dark growl with. Mm. I'm just gonna breakneck blitz my way through this guy. Oh, I misclicked. <laughs> I'm a noob. Ember. Some really good damage there, actually. Yeah. So conveniently, you get the normal Z gem. I mean, that's obviously for a reason. So you could use it right away, depending on, regardless of what Pokemon you chose. But it's really nice. <laughs> Just claws his way in. For an easy knockout. Cool. I do want to battle these trainers here, because I do want Dartrix to get to 20. And everything's leveling up pretty quickly as well. Ooh, I will get Water Pulse. That's a good move. Um, I have no need for mist. Actually, I'd rather have water pulse and water gun. Everything's leveling up now. Yeah. Rising star Joshua reminds me of Josh Forsey. Who really was a rising star, man. He, like, he got so good so quickly. It's so impressive to see. And it makes me really happy. Uh, Icky Town. Where, have I been here earlier? Okay. Do, 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 do. Definitely not forgetting about that guy though. I'm gonna try to battle everyone, but I will like try to complete the, the grand trial battle in this bot, uh, episode. Since we've still, it's like 29 minutes in, but I got your card your first trial. It's true, I'm not a trainer, so I don't understand how that must have been. It's a great achievement. Classic Nebby. The melee, 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 Kohono Shrine. He used to use fighting Pokemon. Oh, yeah, we got those flying type attacks. I'm just going to dive into this one. I don't want to save it for the next episode. Alright, let's do it, boss. Congrats. If you are take the Kahuna, you think you win Dark Tricks? Yes, I am definitely ready. I've been waiting for this. Heck yeah, you have. He reminds me of, like, uh, I forgot, I, were there, like, sumo wrestlers or whatever in Exian Coliseum? Maybe? I'm gonna think of <laughs> Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. 
cocoon of Malay Malay Island. Shall we begin the final trial? Sparkling stone. Let the trial begin. So I guess you go through like the individual trials, and those are just random like Pokemon that are really strong, and then you go against the island Kahuna or whatever. Mankey. Caught in an Ultra Ball. I like that added effect. Yeah, but this is where starting Rowlet was is super helpful for the early game. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be harder later on, but I can just peck my way through everything. And Pursuit's not gonna do very much, but I am still pretty slow. <laughs> I like that you can see like people looking around though. That's really cute. Ooh, actually doesn't knock it out. I'm actually gonna uh, go for a couple of workup boosts, I think. Because he's not doing any damage to me, so this means that once I get to like plus two or plus three, the back two Pokemon easily will be knocked out as well. So this is where having a stat increasing move is actually super helpful. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get to plus three, I think. I don't give a turd about the focus energy. Okay. One more. Just for added measure. Although at this point, since if it's all fighting Pokemon, it's not going to be a problem. Yeah. We'll just sweep our way through now. It's not a fair amount of damage, but he's only been using Pursuit. Like, I guess there's no reason. I mean, a fighting type attack's not going to do anything due to resistance. See, Makuhita, not all good. <laughs> kind of interesting to see fighting after we all face like dark Pokemon. <laughs> yes, fake out. Nice, big damage. Um, but Peck's just a free knockout here. Yeah, but I was not expecting like fighting to be the type of the Kahuna. Pretty easy knockouts here though. Just utilizing all our resources. Yeah. Crab Roller, nope. I wonder if he can knock me out. It's probably faster, but let me go for a peck. Oh, I'm faster. That should be GG. Unless he's got an item. Wow, it lives! Or it survives. Impressive. Even at plus two. I don't know why Razor Leaf there, but I like seeing different move animations for battles. Whew, nice. Wasn't too challenging there. Dartrix is a beast for this. Like, I it shouldn't be a challenging battle, at least here. <laughs> he just laughs. Hmm. The results come as no surprise. What a fine trainer, what fine Pokemon too. Tapu Koko 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 Hoy, and our mighty Tapu Koko agrees. Perhaps Tapu Koko was hoping that a day may come where you were strong enough to battle it as well. Except the Z Crystal. Ooh, I get another Z Crystal? Fighting Z Crystal. Which I can use for Makahita. That's gotta be fighting. Grand Trial complete. Nice. Finally getting some progress done in this game. Feels like it's been forever. We're already a couple episodes in, but ah, it's so fun. Things should pick up a little bit quicker now at this point. Yeah, fighting Z Crystal. That's great. I'm going to put that on Hariyama for sure. Move your arm like this and bend your hips like this and pose. It should be a rule that you need to do the dance. Um, <laughs> like rapid fire punches uh, when you're on stream for VGC. The Millennium Land Stamp is improve your accomplishments with the Pokemon up to level 35. Even those you receive in a trade will obey you. The moon in the daytime, the sun at the night. Now to see if you can pour your heart. Wait, what? Something that's not real. You're going to continue what makes up Pokemon. I'll surely meet Tapu Koko. Oh, yeah, dude, you know it. Tapu Koko. Mwah. Is that Tauros? Oh. Can you just be on my party, bro? I've got an idea. How about I set you up so you can ride my Tauros whenever you'd like? No reason he shouldn't get to enjoy the island challenge as well. Mwah. Uh, Take care of all the little things you need to do in order to ride a Pokemon. Ride, ride Pager. Why don't you hop on there? Alright, I'm gonna probably call it an episode after we do some riding on the Tauros, but it's very exciting. Whoa, what the heck is that outfit? Oh my god, I feel like that's hurting poor Tauros. World looks a little bit different from the Mighty Tauros, right? See, you're an Alola Pokemon under strength. Ride Toger, Rider Pokemon, you only need to press the Y button, B to dash. So this is like an upgraded bike. 
cool. Congratulations, I hope you find your ride pager useful. I worked on developing it with a friend of mine. Alima's impressive. I'm amazed that you won even without using your Z power. Oh, I wonder if that's like different based off um, the battle. Because obviously if you use your Z move, it's not going to say that. Alright, with a little help from Tauros, you can smash through those big rocks on Route 1. False Swipe. It's useful for catching legendaries. False Swipe is a move. Yep, yep, yep. Keep telling Rotom. Tell my mom what I'm up to. Time to get the boat ready. Lily's gotta help him. Exciting episode. Um, I actually wanted to ask you a favor, if that's all right. Sure. Nebby is his real home is far away from here. Wants to go home. Oh, Nebby's so cute. Uh, of course I'll help. I ship it. Pew. All right. So, I'm going to call it an episode there. Pretty eventful one there. We were able to get another Z Crystal, beat the grand challenge for um, this first island. Then, going to go, you know, in the next one, tell my mom and move off to the next island. So, it was a really, really fun one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, peace.